Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I look like a hot mess right now, but we're gonna fix that today. Do I have like baba in my mouth? I'm so sorry. I've been kind of in a funk and I also got Miss mm, Penelope. She came to town. So I haven't been feeling the greatest. I'm breaking out. I have a little monster sitting on here. Today's gonna be an ultimate self-care day. We're gonna be doing everything to just make ourselves feel good. So I usually like to start off my self-care days by reading a book instead of doom scrolling on TikTok. I find that whenever I pick up a knowledgeable book, I gain a lot of insight rather than spending it on TikTok and learning pretty much nothing from that. My book of choice is called It Is Finished by David Wilkinson and I highly recommend it. So I recently started taking apple cider vinegar gummies because apparently it detoxifies your body, it promotes a healthy heart, it enhances your energy, and it also helps with digestion. When hair oiling, obviously I start off with stimulating my scalp. I wish I had a bamboo brush, but I don't. So I just use a regular brush. And then I go in with my Briogeo pre-wash oil. I love this one because it has rosemary and a couple other extracts in it. And then I just massage all of that in with my scalp massager. And then I also put an oil in my ends. This is the Kerastase oil and it is so amazing. I highly recommend it. And then I just leave this in my hair for about an hour or so. I truly believe how you choose to light a room makes a huge difference in the overall feel of it. The right light lifts the mood. I just love to make my room feel cozy. I just got out the shower and I look like an egg, but look how cute this little robe is. Now I am going to be moisturizing my body. This is my deodorant. This smells so, so amazing. It kind of smells like that clean laundry linen, very sophisticated, giving Blair Waldorf vibes. I don't know. I do want to say really quickly, don't mind this bag, this bag, this bag, and this over here because I am redecorating my room very, very soon. Super excited about that, so stay tuned. But anyway, these are my PJs that I'm wearing tonight. I got this cherry bow sweatshirt from TikTok shop because I saw it and I thought it was so cute. And I kind of want to cut the collar off of my sweatshirt, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Vote in the comment section. Let me know if I should do it. And then I'm wearing these sweatpants from Hollister and they are so freaking cozy fragrance of the night is this body mist from Frenchie I don't know I am on the fence about this because it smells so nice like it smells like that lavender relaxing fresh earthy that woody kind of scent and i definitely do feel like this is like a mood science because i feel like it helps me feel very calm and relaxed but i feel like it does kind of smell a little more masculine i don't know if i should keep it or not let me know down below
right, let's take this off. Oh my gosh, okay. If you guys don't know, I started dyeing my hair for the first time ever like six years ago and I went back to my natural color but my hair has just never been the same and I want to dye it again. I know, I'm crazy. Not the biggest fan of this one. I feel like there's probably better ones out there. Don't really like the smell of it. Kind of smells a little like grandma-ish. If you guys have any recommendations for a leave-in conditioner that makes your hair super soft and silky, please leave it in the comments down below i go in with my scalp serum i feel like i've definitely seen a lot of growth in my hair maybe it's just me maybe it's a placebo i don't know like i can't tell if it did anything or if it didn't like i just can't tell but i feel like i've definitely seen a lot of like growth in my hair so maybe this is the last step that i use it's the Chi infra silk infusion i put this on before i blow dry my hair and i don't know what it does but it just makes my hair feel so silky and it looks so silky and smooth so let's help each other out let's help all the girls in the comment section leave your best tips for self-care i'm showing you guys mine but help each other in the comment section and leave like your best tips for self-care hair care your shower routine your shower essentials your must-haves leave it in the comment section so that we can help each other out and all the girls can read it in the comment section below i do like to let my hair air dry for like maybe 30 minutes to an hour and then i will go in with my dyson so if you want really soft skin you need to try this wishful yoglo enzyme scrub and i like mainly put it like in my t-zone area and i start to like rub this and then you see little bits i don't think this is your skin i think this is literally just a product curdling up i don't think it's like your dead skin but it still leaves your skin feeling so smooth and soft oh my goodness i'm so excited Wow, this is so cool. It comes in like two parts, so. Textured face down. Hold on. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is so slippery. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I can't see. This is so scary. <laughs> Why is it kind of itching my face though? It's like 10 minutes. It's kind of itching. Okay, wait, Allison, turn the light on, please. That happens when you get rid of mess. Guys, I could not keep that on my face at all because it started burning. Like, literally burning. Oh my god, I should have read the ingredients. No. I really hope I don't break out. Bro, oh, that was like burning my skin. Oh my goodness. Okay, whatever. For eye creams, I have two different eye creams. I have this Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment. This one I feel like is good for like when you need some moisture under your eyes. And then I have this one from Biosance. It's the Squalene Marine Algae Eye Cream. I feel like this one's good when you want like that firming and like tightness on your under eye. I think tonight I'm gonna use this one. Towards the end of the night is when I prefer to journal. I find that I have more time and I don't feel as rushed as I do in the morning. My two favorite journals are Do It For Yourself and Healing Through Words. They are very different. One is very motivational and the other one is more of a self-healing journey. I love this duo because not only is it important for me to track my goals, but also to make sure that I am taking care of my mental health.
These overnight heatless curls have become one of my favorite heatless curls that I've ever tried. Every single time I do them, I wake up with the most perfect hair. I don't even have to spend longer than five minutes on my hair and my hair is just ready to go. So I definitely recommend for you guys to try it if you haven't already. So one of the things that I decided to do since I haven't done it in a very long time because I haven't had the time to is crochet. This is one of my favorite hobbies to do and I was just so happy that I finally got time to just sit down, relax, watch some OBX and crochet myself a new blanket. I think it's so important to pick up on new hobbies if you don't have any. I definitely recommend to try some new things out. You never know what you like and it just makes you feel so calm, peaceful, intelligent, collected, you know the vibes. Alright guys, that is it for my self-care vlog. It is pretty late, so that's why I'm trying to whisper a little bit. But honestly, I feel so, so amazing, so refreshed. Just doing everything that I love to do just made me feel, I don't even know. I just feel so much better and I feel like I've been having kind of like a rough patch. But this day definitely helped me feel so much better and i literally started crocheting again which i haven't done in so long and i'm just so happy that i was able to have like this little self-care day before school starts again because you know so i really really encourage you guys to have your ultimate self-care day treat yourself you deserve it you work so hard and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up it really helps me out you know it's fun it's free it's lit also hit that subscribe button you guys we are so close to 90k i believe in us we can do it comment down below i just love seeing your guys' comments and that's pretty much it i will see you guys in my next video i love you so much god bless you god loves you show love bye mm -hmm.